Disclaimer. The following content may contain crude language, violences, some dirty humor, and sexual jokes are not suitable for children and is intended for 18 plus or older audience. Viewer discretion is advised, which means if you get offended easily, do not watch this video. Thank you. What's going on everybody? Your boy Man Up. If you like my videos, if you find them interesting, if you want to share the content, if you want everybody to know what I'm talking about, whether you agree or disagree, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, coming from your boy Man Up, thanks for watching. I don't know about y'all, but telling me I'm hardworking is not a compliment. I don't want to be here. I work so I could buy shit, and that's it. That's the only reason why I work. My mama didn't do her motherfucking job and create generational wealth for me. So now I gotta work. Stop telling me I'm hardworking. I don't like that. Stop being fucking rude. Stop being rude. Stop it. It's giving house nigga in the field. I gotta cook. I gotta clean. And I gotta work. I gotta do my own hair. Jesus, where does it end? And stop putting that in the air. Stop manifesting that for me. Stop. Because whoever's listening keeps giving me hard work because y'all keep saying that. I don't want to do it no more. Stop. I don't want to be here. When J. Cole said that she don't want to be saved, he wasn't talking about me. Come get me. Y'all be like, most women don't want to get their hands dirty. It's me. I don't want to get my hands. It's me. Come get me. I don't want to work. I'm tired. What's going on, everybody? Your boy, man up. I got another video for you today. I'm going to be all over the place with this one. I'm just letting you know. And I'm also not talking bad about this lady right here at all in this video either. But first, let me start off by saying this. She's talking about her mom not leaving her generational wealth. What she probably don't understand is wealth is not always money. It can be the knowledge, you know what I'm saying, that your, your parents left behind. It can be the teachings, you know, like showing you how to get out there and make it happen for yourself. Things like that. Or it could be that she left you a house to where you don't have to work so hard to buy a house. Whatever the case is, doesn't it doesn't always have to be money. Now, <clears throat> let me start by saying this. This is why I have been saying for the longest, women need to tell other women what's up. Y'all need to tell other women the truth. These modern women today that don't want a man... Uh, well, excuse me, only want a man for his money or the ones that tell me they don't want a man. They have ruined it for women like her. I've done at least 20 of these videos where women are talking about how they want a man, but because, but because y'all are not willing to open your mouth and say anything, they are ruining it for you. I've said this before because it's it's received a lot better when it comes from another woman than it is a man. Women need to step up and say, look, they don't want a man. I do. They don't want to be traditional. I will. You see what I'm saying? This is why I've been saying that. And all it takes is just one person just to ruin it for everybody. All it takes is one. And I told my wife this. I said, men these days do not know what woman it's going to be there for him in his time of need or what woman is going to take off. What woman is going to use him? What woman is actually going to love him? That's why we ask that question. What do you bring to the table? And I found that women cannot really, well, I ain't going to say all women because that's a lie. I didn't say all women anyway. But a lot of women cannot answer that question because they was never taught to sit back and, and evaluate themselves. That's what that question is really doing making you sit back and evaluate yourself. And if you can't tell me what kind of woman you are, then basically you already answered the question. If you have to try to insult me, call me broke, talk about my manhood, uh, whatever the case is, then you already answered the question. If you see what I'm saying? This is why men have been doing the things that we have been doing. Because lately, for the past 10 years, probably longer, but for the past 10 years or so, we can't determine which woman it really wants us. Because women know how to play that role real good. So, men, a lot of men have been just saying, forget it. I don't want 
no uh, no woman there. Forget it. I'm just going to, you know, stack my money and, you know, and just bang every chick I can instead of having a wife. And by by that, now we are all these type of uh, 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 sorry men and all this crap. And then those women, like I said, are running for women like her who wants a man to take care of her, who wants to be traditional. She didn't say that, that she wanted to be traditional. But I gather from how she's acting that she would. You see what I'm saying? This is why I have been saying these things forever. And y'all women think us men don't know what we're talking about. We have been telling y'all. Y'all need to open your mouth and say something because if you don't, guess what? Guess what? They finna ruin it for you. And since they are already ruining it for you, now these men are saying, hmm, I ain't finna take that chance. Which I don't blame them. I thank God I was blessed with the woman that I have because before I met my wife, oh my God. I could have been in the same boat saying, you know what? I'm not even dealing with these women no more. I'm just going to get my nut and go on by my business. Because these so-called modern traditional women who don't want to, you know what I'm saying, keep a house for a man who who's basically providing a lifestyle for you, you don't want to do your part. So men are just saying, like y'all tell us, I can do bad by myself. And he can. If you don't want to do nothing, shit, he's going to go out and say, fuck it then. While I come home to a woman who don't want to cook and clean for me, I might as well not even be with you. What are you here for? So because those feminist movement women have ruined it for a lot of women who do want to be at home taking care of her man. And you basically ruined it for yourself because you don't want to say anything. You don't want to open your mouth because you don't want to not, you don't want to have other women upset at you. Forget that. Some women are starting to say something. But what I'm saying is, I've been saying this for years. Open your mouth and say something because look where it's at now. Look where it's at. And then those women that were feminists and decided not to be anymore for whatever their reasons may be, those women are now coming out saying, uh-uh, this ain't no. Because what are you gaining? So I saw a video not too long ago, a woman talking about, I don't need no man, I can change my own tire. Okay, so can my wife. That ain't why you need a man, but okay. Okay. Just because you can do it yourself don't mean you ain't going to want a man to do it for you, is what we are saying. Just because you can do it yourself I mean, I could cook and clean my damn self. That don't mean I want my woman to cook for me. You see what I'm saying? She works, but that don't mean she don't want me to go out there and work and provide as well. That's not really the whole reason why you need a man. See, that also, too, that mentality that a lot of those women have, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of that mentality that a lot of those women have, that also is telling me why I shouldn't be not, why I should not even try with you. You can be the baddest looking woman on earth. You can be drop dead gorgeous. I mean, the most beautiful thing I ever saw. But your attitude can make you the most ugliest. And this is why I have been saying for the longest, women need to tell other women the truth. Women need to tell other women what's up. But because y'all love to be social, you don't want to ruin that. Because y'all love to, to, to try to take to jump on a bad bandwagon with other women, you don't, you don't want to ruin a, a so-called friendship that you may have with that woman. But I've been said women need to tell other women because when a man said y'all get so offended, when a woman said y'all don't get offend, offended as much or not at all. But when a man said y'all get so offended, so that's the reason why I said women need to tell other women the truth, plain and simple. But because y'all don't, look at what's going on right here in this video. This woman is upset. She don't want to work. She don't want to get her hands dirty, she said. At least she's being honest that she don't want to work. Do I agree with that part? No. But at least she's being honest. And I've been said, 
one person is going to mess it up for the for the rest. Y'all have heard that saying a long time ago. All it takes one person to mess it up for everybody. Y'all heard that saying. Just because those women don't want to do it, you just need to come out and tell these women, shut the hell up, you're going to ruin it for me. Or if they don't want to shut up, then you create a so-called anti-feminist group to where you want to have a man to come be there for you, come protect, protect you, provide for you, all that good stuff. You see what I'm saying? Because us men do not know which is which, we don't know. But because you won't open your mouth and say anything, now you're going to have to suffer. And you ain't even did nothing wrong. You see what I'm saying? I've done plenty of videos talking about other men, how these guys are stupid for having baby after baby, for abusing their women, whether it's physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever the case is. I talk bad about other men. But a lot of men are not doing crazy nonsense. It's a lot of women. Yeah, I, I could only make so many videos about future having so many goddamn baby mamas before it get flipped on y'all women because y'all know he has a lot, of, a lot of kids that he ain't taking care of and you are purposely going to get pregnant by him. Now, that's on you. You see what I'm saying? Elon Musk found out this man has a whole ton of kids by a whole ton of women. You see what I'm saying? Before it turns back and say, look, now you must really want that problem because you know his history, so you decide to stick your nose in it. So now that's a woman problem instead of a man problem because it's one man with 10 women. Hmm. You do the math. Anyway, I kind of got off subject there. But what I'm trying to say is, like I've been saying, if a woman wants to be traditional, why won't she open her mouth and say anything to those women that are saying they don't want to be traditional, that they don't want to cook and clean? Why don't you tell those women to shut the hell up? But because you don't, look what's going on. Why don't you create your own anti-feminist group and tell these women, uh-uh. Because the way God made woman and man, he made the man to be the head of the household. Yeah, you're going to run into some sorry-ass men. I know women are going to bring that up because that's what they always do. Yeah, you're going to run into sorry-ass men. That's just how it goes. Just like men are going to run to some sorry-ass women. That's just how it goes. But that don't mean you make every man suffer for what that one or, one or two men did to you. That don't mean that every man make all these women suffer for what that one or two women did to him. You're going to run into some sorry ass people. You know what I'm saying? Some people with some bad intentions. That's just what it is. But that don't mean you start this anti-feminist group talking about all men, all men suck, all men are trash, all men do this and do that. Well, that's the case. Like I said plenty of time before, me personally, I should be saying that about women. But I don't because if I did that, I, I wouldn't have met the wonderful woman that I have right now. I wouldn't have the wonderful marriage that I have. My daughter wouldn't have life if I would have did some crap like that. But because I was thinking past myself, huh? I didn't do that. Did I get my heart broken? Yes. Did a video about that, about a woman saying that. No matter how many times she get her heart broken, she ain't turning to no hope. That's what I've been saying. There are going to be some men that break your heart. Hell, you done broke hearts before. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, come on now. Sometimes pe two people's chemistry don't mix. That don't make them bad people. Your chemistry just don't mix. You might really love him, but he's saying, I don't think I see a future with her and want to break it off. Sometimes the, the two people, I don't know, just can't be in a, in a in a relationship. I don't know. It just depends on the person you, you meet. But this is why I said a long time before, before you open your legs, ladies, before you open your legs to a man, you should get to know that man for at least a couple of years. Excuse me, not a couple of years. I'm sorry. At least a good four or five months. 
Don't have a baby with that man for at least a couple of years is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Because hey, when me and my wife got together, we'll see, we were married for like three years before my daughter was born. Two years, I'm sorry, two years before my daughter was born. We got married in 2008. My daughter was born in 2010. Now what? Hmm? You see what I'm saying? You get to know a person first. And I said this to fellas. Fellas, don't spend no serious money on a lady before you really get to know her. I say don't pay no bills or nothing. Don't take her to no fancy restaurant for at least a good three or four years of knowing her before, so you can determine what kind of woman she is. That's just how it goes. And especially women these days, talking about they don't need no man. They can pay their own bills. They got their own money. Well, shit, you shouldn't have to become off no money to pay no bills. Huh? That's what I've been saying. This is... Y'all are ruining for everybody else. There are some guys out there that are ruining for men like me. I mean, I'm in, I'm married, so I'm off the market, but you get what I'm trying to say. There are some good men out there, and I'm sorry men, like I brought up future, those sorry men are ruining for the good men that wants a good woman. And, no, and, and those sorry-ass women are ruining for the good women. You see what I'm saying? That's why men ask that question, what do you bring to the table? Because we ain't got time for the bullshit no more. We sick of it. Look, are you going to be the woman that I want or not? If not, let's not waste each other's time. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Let's let's go ahead and move forward in a relationship or let's just go our separate ways. I, I agree with that. I'm too old for the bullshit. Either we're going to make it happen or we're not. What's up? Plain and simple in the discussion. I don't know about y'all, but telling me I'm hardworking is not a compliment. I don't want to be here. I work so I could buy shit, and that's it. That's the only reason why I work. My mama didn't do her motherfucking job and create generational wealth for me, so now I gotta work. Stop telling me I'm hardworking. I don't like that. Stop being fucking rude. Stop being rude. Stop it. It's giving house nigga in the field. I gotta cook, I gotta clean, and I gotta work. I gotta do my own hair. Jesus, where does it end? And stop putting that in the air. Stop manifesting that for me. Stop. Because whoever's listening keeps giving me hard work because y'all keep saying that. I don't want to do it no more. Stop. I don't want to be here. When J. Cole said that she don't want to be saved, he wasn't talking about me. Come get me. Y'all be like, most women don't want to get their hands dirty. It's me.